So the question is solved, right? It's find what x is such that 5 to the power of x will be 17. Okay? Now, you have a look at this question. Tell me, just off the face of it, there's not much written there. What makes this question different from the others that we've been dealing with so far? Yeah? Um, oh, let's think about this one, right? Um, yeah, for, for numbers, like, I could try numbers in x, right? I could try numbers in x. Um, I could try 0. 5 to the power of 0 will be 1. I could try 1. 5 to the power of 1 is 5. I could try 2. 5 squared is 25. Hold on, I went from 5 to 25. I've already blown past the answer. I wanted 17. So my number is somewhere between 1 and 2. And it's going to be like, who knows exactly? Like you could sit on your calculator for a long time. Actually, you'll probably sit there for an infinite amount of time trying to guess right, what x is going to be. Okay? Uh, in fact, x is irrational, so you will never be able to put all the numbers in because it goes on forever. So how can I solve this thing? If not, it doesn't magically come out to a nice, neat number. I'm going to show you. Okay? First thing I'm going to suggest is, <coughs> excuse me, um, I would usually rewrite this in log form, right? Now, don't write this down. How would I rewrite this in log form? This is an index equation. Log, log, log base, five. yep. Log base 5. Ah, now, oh, okay. 17, yes, 17, good, good. Equals x. Equals x, okay. Now, that's what I want, okay. But that's a dead end. Like, you've got a calculator. It can do two kinds of logs um, with different bases. One of them is 10, because that's scientific notation, like I was mentioning, and you have scientific calculators. Um, the other one is a different weird number, about 2.7, which you'll meet next year, and I can explain that for you if you like after this. But neither of them is 5, right? You can't do on your calculator straight away log base 5 of anything, okay? So at the moment, this looks like a dead end. Looks like a dead end, right? So therefore, I come back to here. Come back to here, right? Now, I want you to remember, we've been saying logs, exponentials, they're just functions, right? Or inverse functions, okay? So for example, if I have a number like, say, okay, um, 2, do you agree, is 8 divided by 4. You okay with that? Yeah. Right. So therefore, I could do a function to both sides here, right? For example, I could say, you guys have known trig functions, I can go sine 2 equals sine 8 on 4. Yeah, they'll be fine. I can do a function of both sides. I could do, I could square both sides. 2 squared will be 8 over 4 squared. If these two things are the same, sorry, these two things are the same, I can do any function I like to both sides and it's all good. Okay? So here's the function I'm going to do. I'm going to do log base 10. I'm choosing base 10 just because your calculator has base 10 on it. You can actually choose any law, any log you like. Um, but if you have your calculator, open it up because we're going to need it in a second. Log base 10 of both sides. All right? So I have this on the left-hand side. And I have log base 10 of that on the right-hand side. So I refer to this line as taking logs of both sides. Okay? These two things are equal. So log of this and log of that should also be equal. Are you okay with that? Are you happy? Okay, now look at what we've got. Think again of your sort of tool belt of um, different things you can do. What do you see on the left-hand side? Yeah. Fantastic. I've got power law happening here, right? So that x, it can hop out of the power and go out the front, like so. And remembering that what I want to solve is x, I want to make x the subject of the equation, what do I do to both sides? I divide by this guy, right? You see that? That gets rid of him from the left-hand side, and you just get this. Now, this you can put in your calculator, and I actually would like you to do it. Just input it for me. Log. You'll see, <coughs> excuse me, um, the log button is at the top right of your, or pretty close to the top right of your calculator. And you should get a number with a whole bunch of decimal places after it. Who's got them? I don't you have it. Yeah, yeah. 1.76. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, does this match what we were expecting? Remember when we tried our numbers from the beginning? We said, don't move. We said one is too small. Two is too big, right? So therefore, here's our number. It's right in between, okay? And in fact, with your calculator still there, you can insert five Press your power button and then stick the answer in, right? And then hit equals, and sure enough, you should get exactly 17. Okay. So, yeah. is there a way to figure out log base 10 um, 17 over 5 without the calculator? 
No. Because look at that. That's just a disaster. Yeah. Okay. Now, just as a tease for Thursday, as a tease for Thursday, do you see, just before we pack up, remember when we got here and there was a dead end? Do you remember that? I was like, what am I supposed to do here? But then when I simplified it, I found it looked like that. Does that not look very, very similar? Okay. Now, these are connected. And I'm going to show you exactly how on Thursday. All right. Off you go.